Hello, my most amazing artist. Today, I want to talk to you about the element of art known as color. We see color because light is reflected off of objects to our eyes. Let's take a closer look at the color wheel. Oh, that's not the color wheel. Let's try this again. Let's take a closer look at the color wheel. Oh, beautiful clock, but still not the color wheel. Last try. Let's take a closer look at the color wheel. Oh yes, there it is in all its glory. The color wheel is composed. Red, yellow, and blue are the three primary colors. These three colors make the secondary colors. Red and yellow make orange, yellow and blue make green, and blue and red make violet. We're back with our color wheel. Just to do a quick recap of color families. Don't forget, the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. The secondary colors are orange, green, and violet. When you mix red and yellow, you get orange. When you mix yellow and blue, you get green. And when you mix red and blue, you get violet. Once you have your color wheel, and feel free to use whatever you have at home to color this in. You could use crayons, markers, if you're adventurous and you have paint, oil pastel, whatever you like. Um, I will give you this uh, file to print out if you have access to a printer, or you could just draw your own color wheel. Once you have it all colored, you're going to get your scissors and you are going to cut out the wheel very carefully. I actually wish I would have colored this a little neater, but my son was holding the camera while I did that time lapse. I know there has to be an easier way, uh, but he was, I could tell in my ear he was breathing and I knew he could not hold his hand any longer, so I was really rushing. Uh, when I figure out the easier way, it's gonna be great, but until then, I had to have him hold it. So there's your color wheel. Now, you're going to get a piece of paper. Any kind of paper will do. This is kind of large, but I just want to show you. You're going to add glue and put your color wheel anywhere on the paper. You could hold your page landscape or perhaps portrait, depending on what you want to create. Maybe you are going to create a gumball machine. Perhaps you're going to turn this into slices of pizza and have a chef slicing up some pizza or a family eating a pizza. Maybe you're going to hold it this way and have this be a wheel from a bike. Or maybe it's a unicycle. Or perhaps a animal in a circus is spinning the ball. Or maybe you hold it landscape and this is a beach ball and you can do an ocean. Really, the possibilities are endless. I can't wait to see what you create with your color wheel. Talk soon.